Yep. Uh, I am worried. Mm -hmm. But I'm worried about the media. Oh, your worry is more about the media? The media. Mm -hmm. I've always said that if Ghana will go to war, if Ghana will be destroyed, it will be from the media, the comments they make. Typical example is a duress case. A brother kills a brother. And it's reported out there that Fix the Country Advocator has been killed because he was talking about fixing the country. I was in Turkey when I read it and I said, oh boy, it has got into that where one speaks his mind and they kill him. This is how I felt until I came back to Ghana and I got to know the true story of it. Who is causing problems? Other people have died because of false reportage. You see, we are all losing the facts because we are not looking at where the problem started. The problem is from the media. You mean the report that came out? Right. Infuriated the youth. Oh, so was it not fixed the country people who claim that the person who has been killed is their, is their member and they wanted a meeting with the police? What was put out there, mm -hmm. those of us who were not in the country, was that fix the country member has been killed. Mm -hmm. And it is not me alone in Turkey, but Ghana here, those not in Nigeria, who also think, yeah, indeed, he was killed because of what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Not knowing it has his own problem. It has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with politics. Mm -hmm. And look at the results. Other people died. Right. Because of false report. Died. They are not looking at that angle. My brother, we have to be careful in this country. The way we give information, the way we come out, especially with the social media. Yeah, I think it's more social media. Maybe, I don't know whether the media actually reported it as factual information. Well, but, now they are part but, of you. So you can't yeah, run away. Media. But social media is everybody's, you and me. It's what yeah, you write you on Facebook. Yeah, you can't run away. What I, I write don't on write Facebook. anything. I don't have time. <laughs> I know you may not write, but a lot, of people, a lot of the youth are writing. You know, so we have to be careful. Mm. And again, politicians are also part of the problem. Mm -hmm. They don't care killing human beings to come to power. But the Bible says, you know, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his life? You want to come to power? So you're going to kill brothers, sisters, because of power? And when they are talking like that, they forget that one day they are also going to die. You know, I saw my young friend, Sam George, the way he was talking, and you know, that's the beauty of democracy. But certain words that he used were not appropriate. What did he say? Then you heard him mm. that any police officer or security agent that we see will be treated what? As criminal? I mean, you know, such comments will also infuriate others and what will happen. Mm. You know, I'm not able to speak on the issue too much in terms of security because of my position. As a chairman of the committee. Right. But is the committee, your committee, are you, are you looking at it? Yes. Technically to be able to come yeah, out with yes. something? Yes, we're going to, what incident has been referred to us. Mm -hmm. So Monday we're going to what? We're supposed to go on Thursday where we have other meetings as well. Mm -hmm. And we are here to meet the defense minister for briefing and all those things. So I have information, but I cannot share with you mm. because it might be one side. Mm. I have to listen to the other side before we issue a statement. Do you think there's a state of insecurity in Ghana? Not at all. Not at really? all. Really? So if Not... you are marking Ghana's insecurity over 10? I'll give it 9. 9 over 10? For security? For security. Really? Yeah, of course. I mean, you sit here. A giraffe shooting, somebody has been beheaded in some place, war incident, all happening in the battle of Let me weeks. tell you, 
those who talk of security just july 4th july 4th celebration in america mm -hmm. 152 people died I, I saw that on the media good what happened yesterday or two days ago in nigeria nigeria yeah by 140 kids kidnapped mm. Is that what we are seeing here? So you're doing a comparative analysis. That's what you're doing, really. Yeah, you have to. Mm. If you don't do that, the way they're talking about insecurity, insecurity, we we'll all believe in it. What about comparing us to ourselves yesterday and today? Would you still say that we have better security? You see, I'm surprised NDC got nerves to go on demonstration talking about security. They got nerves. But, you know, we have to tolerate them because it's politics. Have they forgotten about themselves? NDC? I want every Guinean with that political tag to say that there is insecurity in ourselves. But not NDC. The atrocities committed by these people in this country, they got nerves. NDC? Are you talking PNDC? Both. NDC, PNDC, NDC. Both. And I was surprised at Toto Bikwachi. Commenting of security. So to be quite talking about security. What has he done? He was Minister of National Security. Good. And so, what did he do? Tell us, what did he in do? In his time. But, crimes that were committed. Yeah, but nobody prosecuted him. Nobody ever prosecuted him for anything. Yeah, because even he, you know, when they, I don't know what. I mean, we, don't, we don't know that whether to be quite committed crimes. As I'm a, saying he a, was in charge. Yes, he was of security. Minister of National Security. Right. And what happened during his term? We don't term. know. Did he commit any crime? Are you saying that Kandapa has committed any crime? No, I'm not saying that. Yeah, they, so they, if they you ask that, that question. But they didn't say that. They didn't, NDC people didn't say that. I'm saying that they are talking of insecurity mm -hmm. in this country. Mm. And I'm referring to Totobi Kwachi talking about insecurity in this country. You mean he has no legitimacy to speak At about? all. Why? Because during his tenure, mm -hmm. we all saw and experienced what happened in Ghana. But Who you, could even talk? But well, you're not saying... Who, Who could even talk? But that was 1997. That was... Yeah, but that was private radio and private television. People were talking. That was 1997. Yeah, yeah people were talking in 1997. And so if you commit a crime in 1997... Did he, did he commit a crime? I mean, atrocities that were committed under his tenure when he was national security... But you haven't given and me one example yet. Thousand and one examples that I can give. Just give us one. A lot. And have you forgotten? I'm surprised. I want the answer from you. Because you know. Well, you I, don't, know. I don't know whether he has committed any crimes, to, to be quite. You see, the I am not minister, saying... You mean to the to things that happened under his watch? Yes. You don't understand the word tenry? I, I get it. But like Yeah, what? yeah. So don't... Put but, but, words in my mouth, but, but I said to Toby Kwachi, you, yeah, he said he hasn't but done he it. He was supervising yes. the thing and the SSS that time. So I was shocked. I was Should we hold laughing. Kandapa responsible for the excesses of the CTFM reporter? How do you hold him responsible? But you can do so because he's the minister, yes. But do you have your facts? You know, you see, that well, we, we know that the CTFM reporter. Media some bogus media in this country, they will publish trash and you all consume information. That is exactly what we are doing. Because you don't even know the, the, what happened. Well, but we know that the Minister what of National Security... What do you Security, know? Tell Guyanians. What do you know? Minister of National Security... I want you to tell Guyanians, Paul Adomotri, what do you know? I want you to tell before I tell you what transpired. Mm. And you are pampering that and giving that as an example for Kandapa to be fired. No, I'm asking you that should I he want, be held responsible. I'm you. not saying he should be fired. Should he be held responsible? I want you to answer that. Well, because, because you, you seem because to you, know. You, you are saying to Toby Kwachi should be held responsible for the things that happened under him, if any. I am saying that. I am surprised at Totobi Kwachi mm -hmm. now talking about insecurity. Because during his tenure, the SSS, eh, the things they did in this country, I was shocked to see him even commenting on security. I laughed. You are, you are an important person. We are not that important. Let me enter my caveat here, viewers, that uh, the views that have been No, expressed. we are all human beings. Yeah, but you are so more don't important. Say, no, you are a member, you are chairman of the committee know, of parliament. You know okay. your job very well. Let me enter my if caveat. I'm, Let me enter go. the caveat that the views that have been expressed are the views of Honorable Kennedy Japan. They are by no means the views of Good Evening Ghana or Metro. Well, well, what is wrong with that? No, are, you just, are, are you afraid? You are covered. 
I'm saying that I'm surprised that Toto Bikwachi criticizes I, I get it. talking about insecurity in this country. Okay, we are still on the insecurity matter and uh as a photographer of <laughs> He's my in law if you don't know. Oh, that's Stella's first cousin. Stella, your wife. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to the security issue because my right. question to you was mm. you said nine over ten. Yeah. And I said to you that you, you are comparing to Nigeria and the United States, which right. have very bad examples. I'm saying that, okay, leave them out. Can you compare Ghana today, Ghana yesterday? And that's where this issue yeah. came up. So you think yesterday and we're insecure, today worse. we're secure? Worse. Give us something that has changed, that has made this situation better, current situation better. You see, in your own presentation here, mm -hmm. the news that was given 25 years ago. Yes, yes, yes. He said five people confirmed dead. Yeah, by GBC. Right. You see the beauty of democracy and how far we've gone when the deputy chief of staff goes out there mm -hmm. boldly laughing with them you know joking and taking the that's really to be applauded there's right. no doubt about that that's right. to be applauded you see did you hear any ndc activists killed or even arrested no or even arrested mm -hmm. yeah so it tells you the difference right there mm -hmm. that we've gone far with our democracy mm -hmm. But you see, the way of late we are using social media and some politicians, I'm always worried about Ghana, our security. Because look, if you want me to share something with you, I can tell you, I will not give you insight mm -hmm. details. But look, all the countries surrounding Ghana, mm -hmm. all the countries, Cote d'Ivoire, Togo, Burkina, all of them, including Nigeria, the jihadists are taking over. Togo have they've done well, but Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina. They are about ten kilometers away from our borders. You are talking about Islamic fundamentalists. Yes, that's oh. quite that's quite threatening. Yeah, but we've been able to prevent them from coming into Ghana. Of course. So now everybody who wants peace, Ghana is seen in other countries as safe heaven, mm -hmm. coming to Ghana. Okay, now if they tell you the whole of Africa, Ghana is the second best peaceful country. It in it just happened. which one is the first, by the way? Well, uh, I, I was. Oh, it's the whole of Africa. The whole, yeah, of, the whole Africa. of Africa. Okay. I was only interested mm. in. So Ghana. maybe Mauritius. <laughs> I was only interested in Ghana when mm. I saw the second. I said, "Good, mm. at least we are in good shape." Mm. You see, so don't let us. So you think the media must be careful. Yeah, we have to be careful with our presentations, the things we come up with. What happened in Rwanda? It was media, yeah. Good. It was publication. Yeah. What happened in Nigeria? It's mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah. We have to be very careful and circumspect the way we, 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 we report. So when we are talking of the military, mm -hmm. police, my brother, we are all part of the problem. Unless we all admit as Guineans that we are part of the problem, we cannot solve our problems. Because we'll be pointing fingers at certain people, the security, police, military, then we leave others. I'm going to, uh, I don't want to preempt it, but I was shocked for an individual, a civilian, when a military man, a soldier, is talking, using his phone, he's able to snatch it. Apparently with a knife as well. You know, look, it's very, very serious. But in my position, I don't want to be biased. I want to go there first. But the first scene, what has become of Guineas? And you think the soldiers are the problem. What about those who snatch? His phone. But did they have to beat everyone? Plus, you can't say because you, you were waiting for the investigations. Yeah. That, what, the scene I saw was not pleasant. Mm. He made a mistake. Because, mm. look, let me tell you. You cannot snatch a police officer's phone in America and go scot-free. No, you won't, you won't try and do that. Good. You won't Why? Do that. Why? Because of Why? the image of the police in America, do we do we have an image crisis? So, with our what security is the forces? image of the soldiers in this? Country? Do we have an image crisis with our security forces, police and military? Do we have an image crisis? It's mixed feelings, so I can 
balance my argument. Mm -hmm. No, the image crisis is where in the police service, for instance, when a police is shot, within a few days, the perpetrators are arrested. Mm -hmm. When civilians are shot, nothing happens. Mm 